Samsung has rolled out the latest Android update 5.1.1 Lollipop 2 it is Galaxy Note 4 variants. In this video I'll show you the new features in this build. So the first one is the addition of Smart Manager app. This is the same one found on Galaxy S6 and S6 Edge. It basically gives you fast access to battery and shows information about it. Same goes for storage. <clears throat> It also shows necessary data if you have it and also and also details about user data okay the third one is RAM management it gives you amount of RAM uh, that's being used right now and also gives you the ability to and all running applications to free some RAM so if you tap on and all it will clean some memory and makes your device faster <clears throat> this is really useful the last one is secure device security which will scan your device for any for any threats and also you can install my Nox application which has been updated to version 2.4.1 in this in this update so <clears throat> you can build an extra uh, layer of security on your device and protect it from an unauthorized uh, threat or access <clears throat> sorry the second one is a new multi window manager <clears throat> so before in Android 5.0.1, uh, you would have to tap and hold on on back button, okay, and then these of apps appear. So, for example, I'm I'm trying to uh, open Galaxy Apps app and open say messages, okay. So I would have done it this way, but in in this build there is a new way of doing of doing so. So. I tap on recent recent menu button. As you can see, <clears throat> I have a list of open uh, opened applications. If you if you uh, hover your S Pen over this icon, two rectangles, you see that this app will uh, supports split uh, split screen view. Same goes for Instagram. <clears throat> same goes for Chrome applications. So not all applications support this one. So I open Messages app. Okay, and then. Uh, you'll get this uh, horizontal list of available apps that you can add. So uh, this, of course, are the apps that support this as this uh, split screen <coughs> feature. So I tap on S Planner, and as you can see, I have two apps open at the same time. I can also change location of or replace them or change them, and then I can close it. So the process is really simple. You tap on recent menu button or recent app button okay you search for the opened app that have this rectangular button and then you tap on one of them tap on or tap on the main uh, recent menu again okay and then choose uh, the second one that you want to open along the first opened app okay the third uh, the third feature that's added in this build is, uh, is, is uh, the one that I've been waiting for for a really long time. <clears throat> it is a screen menu feature. This is really useful. It basically locks your current window or current screen and prevents you from doing uh, from going to another screen. This can be useful when, for example, someone asks your phone for making a phone call and you want that person to only be able to make that phone call without doing anything else. So when you enable it, it will ask you whether you want to uh, lock it, You lock, uh, you, whether you want uh, the user to input a uh, password, pattern, pass, uh, uh, pin or fingerprint while uh, trying to go out of this screen pin uh, window, screen, uh, pinned window. So uh, I'll choose fingerprint. Okay, I'm gonna choose a backup password. One, two, three, four, five K. Okay, one, two, three, four, five K. Just for the sake of this video. Okay, show contents. This gives me the option of notifications that I want to show or I want to appear on the lock screen. Okay, so for example. Let me search for uh... okay okay guys so for example someone wants to make a phone call using my phone what I want to do first 
I come to uh, I enable this feature inside settings okay and then if you look at the contacts app or phone app you see that this uh, this pin icon has appeared on uh, on here so when you tap on it this window appears it tells you that this will pin this screen and will not let you to go out of it until you input your fingerprint that we said before okay I'll tap on start and as you can see it says application locked on screen so when I tap on back button it won't go back when I tap press on the power uh, home button it won't go back so to unpin application uh, I need to tap and hold on both recent menu open uh, recent menu button and back button okay so when I do that it will go back to lock screen and asks me to input my fingerprint so if someone tries to bypass this he he or she will uh, will never be able to do so unless they have your fingerprint or uh, now your pattern or password so this is a really uh, cool feature and a really useful feature <clears throat> okay i think that uh, these three are the main uh, changes uh, along along the stability improvement of the phone so the phone uh, feels um, a little bit faster compared to the previous previous update lollipop 5.0.1 so i think uh, it's a it's a good update and we are waiting for uh, android 6.0 so hope you guys enjoyed and as always thanks for watching